So you're kicking it with Joseph Poetic, the APIA, my city, my home. Shout out for love, everybody. This is Poetic. And this is my world. Yeah. All right. Cool. People ask me where I'm from. I'm from Samoa. I'm Samoan. But some of them want me to break it down. So I'm, I'm part European from my great grandparents. But I'm Samoan. That's, that's my heart. That's what I know. Uh, poetic started here with Bottle Status in Samoa. Running the streets as a hooligan when we were kids. At a time in our lives where music was all we had. Crew Vital Status was the first Samoan hip hop with our genre of music to come out of Samoa. We were the ones that were ripping 685 from the jump. In the beginning, we didn't have anything. We had like an old guitar with four strings on it. We kind of like did our own little mixture of, of rap, R&B. Give it up for a poetic. Yeah, winning the Tufa Mano Award was a blessing. It, it kind of just hit me like, yo, because I, I wasn't expecting it. It felt surreal when I was on stage. I was thankful that my brothers were with me from Vital Status, because really, my, my brothers are the ones that kept me in this game. Thank you for this. Up here, City 685, we on. 685. Excuse me. The name's poetic, nice to meet, to spark conversation like So hip hop for us started outside these doors here on the seawall about 20 years ago when we learned how to freestyle and battle and that's how we learned how to write our lyrics. And all those that came over from overseas hit the seawall. The seawall is legendary. So if you're an IPMC and you didn't come up on the seawall, nah, man. I remember them days we used to beatbox and we used to rap, you know, boring raps. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're doing this to me on TV, man. I'm sorry. Don't it feel good when you take a toe, catch it to the wind, breezing like that? Yeah, love a lover, cause it's hot, let it yeah, so this is where I grew up. This is our, our Parker family land. It's like a place where I come and I feel at peace. I look down the Vangu and I see Apia City, which is my heart. And I come over here, this side of the hill, and the other side of the valley, there's the river, there's where all my cousins grew up playing. My, my dad was born here. And yeah, this is where I learned how to make the omu and eat it. The musical influence for me um, in Samoa it was strictly West Coast music because everyone's from Cali or Utah and they were bringing the CDs or the tapes back throughout the years. So I was influenced by Pac and Bone Thugs, Booyah Tribe, the only Samoans out there that were making it in hip hop with the style that we wanted to do. Ben Bai, when Ben Bai came through, it was magic because we just saw this really cool brother walk in with long hair and just, just started singing and I was just, I gotta grow my hair. But if you wanna go there, the games yeah, my dad was always on the road when I was younger. I went to Wellington in the early 60s. We had a band in one of the nightclubs here. I really fell in love with music because I grew up in it. I, I grew up in a nightclub when I was five years old. I used to have my show in Auckland at uh, the Hyatt. Uh, we had like a Vegas show. Dad always had like all these, these showgirls come and, and, and kiss me, so I felt really cool. Yeah, I might, I might think about doing a song with my dad. I do ballads and rock and roll, different era all together. Yeah, so we did sample one of his songs. And so I was really excited about it, huh? I was like, man, I got a song with my dad. I went back and played it to him, and he was like, what's going on with this? It's all this, this, the beat, you're just talking fast and blah, blah, blah. It's still music, I guess. Uh, I don't mind the beat. The lyrics are a little bit complicated for me. <laughs> I've always strived to do something positive and how, how to represent for my people and my culture, and that's what I fuse in the music. I feel like Polynesians still haven't got their due credit in hip hop. So my job now that I'm older is to create a, a bigger platform for us as artists, not just out here city, but all of Pacifica. Life is like a cannabis, you go straight.